Uh, welcome everyone back at it again. Planet of NY Sports. Here we talk Yankees, Mets, Giants, Jets, and a little bit of the uh, Knicks and Nets. So I'm sorry everyone for the long layoff. I, you know, we've been on break. I, I was in DC on vacation. Um, and during that time, the Yankees, you know, the Yankees have been doing pretty solid. We're not going to touch on them yet. We have a few updates on them, but the New York Mets over Memorial Day weekend lost the series to the Colorado Rockies. Roderick, give me your thoughts. Let's go. We have no pitching at all. Like our pitching's abysmal. Um, Justin Verlander stunk up the joint um, in the last game of the series, giving up five runs. Just it's terrible. And the crazy part is, in that game, we come back, right? You, you, you get the comeback, right? You, you're starting to – all right, maybe we take the lead, right? We're up seven to six. And then the bullpen blows it. The issue with this team right now is we have no pitching besides David Robertson in the bullpen. You know, Ottavino has been terrible. Uh, Brooks Raley, he's been all right. Jeff Brigham and Steven Agosik, they've got to go. I mean, these guys are not major league pitchers. We're giving them big innings in the seventh and, and eighth inning in one or two run games. That just can't be happening right now. And they need to address the pitching uh, at the deadline because they had guys like Colin Holderman and they traded him away for Daniel Gay Burger, so he doesn't even play anymore. So, like, you got to step it up. And that's on management and that's on um, Showalter as we strike out looking again with two strikes. Abysmal. Now, um, you brought up Justin Verlander, and I just want to give you a quick stat correction. He actually gave up six earned runs. Oh, oh. my gosh, my bad. Oh. No, but speaking of, like, just give me your thoughts. How do you um, think Verlander pitched thus far this year? I, I can't, I can't cook, I can't grill him too much because it's been like what four or five starts. He's had starts where he's looked good, but the long ball is really like, is really uh, troubled him to start. I mean. The Tigers game, he gave two to start the uh, to start his game. The Reds game, okay, he pitched great. The Rays game, I think he gave up one or maybe two. Um, this past game, he gave up a couple. Like the home run ball has been like just demolishing him, and he's. I I, I have hope he'll he'll um he'll fix it because he's had some good starts, but it's gotta you know gotta, gotta hurry up here, you know, because we can't be having these rocky starts deeper in this season. All right, and we can also let's let's um, shift gears here to Max Scherzer too. He's been okay, but let, let me hear your thoughts on him. I mean, he had a he had a bad start, but he's he's been stepping up recently. Um, I think the big thing for him, which is, is his business of velocity and how open he's been about like his velocity worrying him at some points because he's not throwing. Last year he was throwing ninety six. He's sitting in the mid nineties now. He's throwing low nines. This is like. Ugh. It's kind of scary, but uh, yeah, he he's he's been stepping up. But if he can continue what he's been doing, he'll be fine. Okay, and then another play. Okay, we can turn to the guy that's pitching right now in Kodai Senga. Um, Roderick, let me uh, hear your thoughts on him thus far this year. He's been the best pitcher on the team this year. <laughs> Which, if you would have told me that at the beginning of the year, I would have been like, something's wrong with you. Um, <laughs> I'm just I'm just glad I was on the I was on the gun early on this. I was glad I, like in the offseason I was like sign this man. That's the main thing I wanted. Sign him. We signed him. His stats aren't great. He has the 3.94 ERA heading into tonight, but he has an 11.4 K for nine. That's tremendous. He's giving us innings, which certain people have not been doing. <clears throat> Carlos Carrasco. Sorry, I some stuck in my throat. But uh yeah. He's been he's been doing good. He's he's already pitched three scoreless against the Phillies, so he's he's been fine. And moving on to the hitting side of things, Francisco Lindor. Um, he is hitting two twenty five. Roderick, just go ahead, go ahead, because I know you have some thoughts on that. I actually don't. Um, looking at the numbers, they they brought up a good stat point here. Lindor is hitting two twenty five. No, that's not good. However. When he does hit the ball, he's getting extra base hits. So it's like, okay, yes, you're bad at 225, but you're giving us the plus defense, the leadership, and you're giving us some some slugging in there. So it's like you got to get that average up. But uh, I'm not 
terribly too worried. At the end of the day, we still always, always have that defense. Just the hitting has needs to needs to you know needs to step it up a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not too worried. I'm not mad at them either. Maybe all right. And also, um, we can go to a player that I guess has been hitting a lot of home runs in Pete Alonzo. Um, Roderick, give me your thoughts on how he has, um, you know, hit this year. I mean, yeah, he's an NL MVP. I don't know who Robert Acuna is. I've never heard of that guy. But, yeah, he, he's he's hitting sexy this year. And somebody made, brought up a good point to me the other day. Aaron Judge breaks home run record next year. Pete Alonzo breaks home run record. I don't, I don't know. Oh, no. he might hit like if he has 70, I'll cry. I'll cry on camera. He is not hitting 70. There's no like there's... clip that, clip that, clip, clip that. it again. I will clip that. Alonso, he's hitting 70 <laughs> home runs. Okay, all right, all right. I'm, I'm one more guy, one more guy, or actually, no, three more guys. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Mark Vientos, Brett should be playing left field, Beatty, and <laughs> Francisco, the greatest of all time, Alvarez, have just been outstanding. That is that leaving? Please, pretty please, pretty please, pretty please. Oh my gosh, what a catch! Oh my gosh, Brandon Emma. Damn. Anyway, anyway, back to this video. Um, those three have been a big, a big catalyst for our offense. Alvarez has hit clutch home run after clutch home run after clutch home run. Uh, Beatty has been a great glove. He's had one of the hard. I think he has like the hardest um, average exit velocity out of most of the big leaguers this year. And Vientos, he's been struggling recently, but he's had he's had his moments. Um, I'm glad that they're playing him, but what we got to stop doing? We got to stop playing Eduardo Escobar over, um, over Brett Beatty. At some point, we have to let let him go. Like. He's had a good month, so I guess maybe he's hot, whatever. But you have to give Beatty consistent at bats. I don't care if it's a lefty on the mound, because Buck Showalter was like today's like, oh, there's a lefty and Eduardo has good stats. Like, I don't care. Play the young guys. Let him get. Let me get this at bats in. You're, you're doing him a disservice by putting him on the bench. So you got you got to keep these guys in the lineup. All right, so is that it on the Mets? Yeah. Also, I swear if you play Tomas Nito when he comes back from injury, I'm going to lose my mind. It's Alvarez and Arvaez. Trade Nito. I'm done. All righty, then. That's that's the Roderick on the Mets this year. Roderick, also, realistically, has your you know season outlook changed from opening day? Absolutely not. Okay. It, it's 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 only been so many games. I mean, we play 162 for a reason. We barely. We, it's the first thing against the Phillies. We barely played the Braves. So, season, it's it's fine. It's it's May. It's okay. Alrighty then. Now shifting gears here to the Big Brother in the New York Yankees. All right, all right, all okay. right. I know Whatever. last time we talked about them, I went off. I went off. I lost my mind on them. But oh, now they're in third place. They're over 500. All is well. They just won a series against the Padres, even though they're, they've they been floundering at late. But the Yankees, I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. I'm not too excited, though. I'm not too excited because there's still some issues. Um. Um, we can start off here with the injuries like usual with this team. We can start off with the injuries. Harrison Bader is now day to day um, yeah, with hamstring. I, I, I just can't with this, with this guy's hamstring. And it seems like Bader is always hurt, which really annoys me. But you know what? Fine. Day to day, he's not going on the I.L., right now that can change because we know with Boone, Boone will say one thing. Oh, yeah, he'll be fine for and then, you know. Two days go by, three days go by, four days go by. Then he's on the IL. So I'm not going to, you know, read into uh, this too much here, but hopefully he's not on the IL. Next, Josh Donaldson. And mind you, Josh Donaldson, you, you know, we were, we were playing better when Josh Donaldson wasn't here. And he's probably going to be coming back soon as his plan is um, he's going to play tonight in Somerset here in New Jersey represent. But um, 
he he will be playing for the Somerset Patriots tonight. I'm not looking forward to that because I don't want him back. I really don't want him back. I don't want Josh Robinson back here. I, I really don't. But he's gonna come back, and I don't know how we're gonna, you know, like structure the roster now and like with sending guys down. You know, we can look at and also. I'm going to give one man his props real quick before I, um, you know. IKF. I know I have two demands. But lately, IKF gets a, gets a standing O from me. IKF has stood up. He has, he's actually been, been, he's been doing quite well in the out. I can field. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's now I can field. And still, you still shouldn't put him at shortstop. That was the dumbest thing they could have ever done. The guy won a gold glove at third base. You don't put him at shortstop, but whatever. <laughs> Derek Jeter. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. Anyway, also, also, speaking of Derek Jeter, I know the kid is young, but – don't t- don't do that. No, 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 no. Listen to what I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say anything outlandish. It's not gonna be outlandish, but it is okay to acknowledge the fact that Anthony Volpe is struggling. Now, I have seen some people saying, "Oh, you need to send him down." Blah blah blah. That's delusion, I think, because quite frankly, who are you going to put at shortstop? You're gonna put IKF back over there. We already saw how that went, so we're not gonna do that again. Now, when you Lindor, hit, what did he hit a home? Bye. Okay. <laughs> He's buried from twenty five. Get out of here. Hi. Ah. Hey, Rob. What? You said this book. No, get out of my room. <laughs> Goodness, this guy. All right. <laughs> and the disrespect to the bike. Yeah, like, like, like I'm not gonna go beat him up after this video. Like, okay. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Now, anyways, just talking about the other um, shortstop in New York, Anthony Volpe, like I said, he is struggling. The guy is hitting 198. I will acknowledge that. Um, he, he does he does steal a lot of bases. I'll give him that. His defense has also been quite shaky. I will acknowledge that. But this is the only way the guy's going to learn. I'm, I'm, I, I, like I said, I'm going to have patience for, you know, year, year one. I'm going to have patience. And also – there's no one you can really, you know, replace him with right now unless – yeah, there's there's no one. Unless, what, you're going to call a Peraza? And, that like, they don't even want to play Peraza. Like, that's why I'm shocked Volpe. They're finally playing Volpe. But then Peraza, he gets the short end of the stick. It's, you know, it's very inconsistent with how the Yankees play their young guys. But I digress. Anthony Volpe, I'm going to be patient. But there is there some cause for concern? Yeah, just a tad bit. Now, another player I will look at here and give my props to is Aaron Judge, who I think <sighs> the best player in baseball minus Shohei Otani. Yawn. Better than Pete Alonzo. Um, I guess. So I guess. <laughs> Like when you factor in defense, when you factor, you factor in, in defense, you oh can't my gosh. deny it, Roger. He plays right field in Yankee Stadium. I yeah. could cover that ground. Yeah, did you see I'm the slow see the catch he made um last night? He's six foot forty two. Uh, he uh, shouldn't uh, make that catch. Big deal. How's Pete Alonso at first? He's damn near a gold glover. Damn near gold glover. Okay, Judge already has a gold glove, mind you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he exactly. Cares. Not he's not damn near a gold glover. He is and I still have a range with Pete Alonso. I don't care. All right, all right, what whatever, Roger. But anyways, mm-hmm. I digress. Aaron Judge. I'll clap it up for you. Now pause. Oh yeah, pause. Um now another player that seems to be clicking at the right time as of late is DJ LeMayu. He is actually it seems like he's turning it around quite a bit, and that could be big for the Yankees as he's not the same player as he was in 2019 when he was the best hitter on the Yankees. Now, um, when you look at the Yankees' leadoff situation, I'm a little indifferent on it because there's not a lot of line of protection for Judge. We know that, and I quite frankly don't understand why some teams even uh, pitch to Judge when you look at Bader being hurt now, um, Rizzo, Rizzo, Rizzo is hurt, you know, quite a bit too sometimes. So you also have to factor that in. 
Now, real quick here, I'm going to talk about a former Yankee outfielder in Aaron Hicks. Yes, so Aaron Hicks did get released a week ago. And now um, Aaron Hicks has been signed by the Baltimore Orioles. Yankees if, legend, Aaron if, Hicks. If I think, I think this is what's going to happen. The next time the Yankees face the Orioles, it'll be tie game, bottom of the ninth. Clay Holmes will be in, bases loaded. Who's going to step up to the plate with two outs? Aaron Hicks. And then Aaron Hicks is going to hit a grand slam in Camden Yards to end the game. That's what's going to happen. Hopefully the game I'm going to. That's, that's what I hope happens. <sighs> that's what's going to happen. I'm being so sick. Like, if this guy turns it around, I am going to be so annoyed, so annoyed if Aaron Hicks has some career research. I really hope. I really hope he doesn't. I I shouldn't I can see it happening. I, but yeah, I can see it happening because maybe maybe the New York fans, us, me in particular. No, 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 no. You. Yeah, but I wasn't even that hard. When you look at some yes, other, yes, you were. There are some other Yankee fans that are even worse than me when it comes to Aaron Hicks, and I know that's hard to believe. But there's some people that just talk they, – they still talk about him in the Yankee Bleacher Report community. I don't know why, but they're like, oh, Aaron Hicks, blah, blah, blah. If we didn't have Aaron Hicks for these five games, we probably would have won. See, that's stupid baseball knowledge right there. But, I again, I, I guess I'm not going to I'm not gonna get into Aaron Hicks too much. But I really hope he stinks up the joint in Baltimore. And if I'm being honest, I think the Yankees will jump Baltimore for second place in the bat of my I, don't. I, I think don't. They'll, I think uh, Baltimore's pitching will come back to earth because their pitching has been okay anyways, and I think they're overperforming right now. And Cedric Cedric Mullins is hurt too. You can uh, look at that. If they drop a few games here, the Yankees could um, jump them. Um, So, yes, yes, we will. We will jump them. We will jump them. I think the Yankees will be a wild card. They'll be the second wild card team. The Yankees are finishing third behind the Rays and the Orioles. Nope, they're finishing second. If not fourth behind the Blue Jays. Oh, stop it. You, no, 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 no. You, even you know, even you know, the Blue Jays, the Blue Jays are a whole nother. I have so much Blue Jays bias, it's not even funny. With how Manoa has been pitching this year. That guy's terrible. And he was talking all that smack last year, you know, and then in the playoffs and stuff, threw up all over himself. Who wasn't good at all. This guy, mm-mm-mm. not looking. That's a lesson for stuff. certain people. You gotta, you gotta stop talking early in your careers. You know, there's a couple mm-hmm. of names. I'm not, I'm not gonna say them, but you know what I'm talking. About. Yeah, and then when you look at Manoa too. Speaking of talking, yeah, he was like, oh, you know talking about Garrett Cole and stuff like that. But, yeah, then when the Yankees, you know, came and faced him this year, we saw what happened. We saw what happened, Manoa. We saw what happened. And you're garbage. You are garbage, pal. You're garbage. Now, for our last topic of today, I think I may have to change my World Series pick. I think I may have to. My World, my World Series pick was the Padres. They're not doing too well right now. Oh, that's oh, that's what it was. I thought you were saying that's that's what you're gonna change to. My fault. Oh no, no, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, but um, all right, I think I'm gonna have to change the World Series pick to a, to a team in the AL. Don't. I swear. I swear. I swear, I swear to everything. I think. I think, I think they will it. be. I think it'll be a, a team in Texas. Shut up. That I, cry. that I don't want to see again. I don't want to see them in the playoffs. I'm low-key kind of scared of them. They have players that can perform in the playoffs. They had a guy that won World Series MVP. And that is the Texas Rangers. The Texas Rangers will win the World Series. All right. That is my prediction. I got the Texas Rangers uh. winning. The New York Mets in the world. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. No, no. All right. Let me be serious no. now. Let me be serious. Please. Pretty right. please. I have the Houston Astros winning the World Series again. I I just can't. They're, I think uh, they're, 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 they're right, 
right now, what they're like three games back. I think they're gonna get it together. They'll probably jump the t- um the Rangers somehow. I think the Rangers will make the wild card. Do I see them making the World Series? Hell no. <laughs> but <laughs> I think the Astros are going back. I I really don't see like the Rays. Rays, there's just something about the Rays where I feel like they're not gonna do it. I, I just don't think they will. Uh, there's just some. There's just something. They don't have that star power. Like no, they don't. They, they they can definitely put up a good, a great regular season. It's just the posting that's where it's been like. Mm, I think I think 2020 was their shot. I don't think they're gonna get back. And to that was the, and that was a COVID year too. So exactly. Short in season, you know, not everyone played. Different circumstances, you know, no home field, you know, basically throughout the um, you know, playoff, yeah, no travel. Like oh, yeah, I, that, that was their shot. Mm-hmm. Now I think even they do good in the regular season, but we have seen that in the postseason they're not so great, especially with their offense. Shane McCallahan, like he's good, but the rest of their pitching, I just have a, this funny feeling that they may come down to earth in the postseason. I just have this funny um, feeling that they will. I don't know who it'll be against, whether if it's the Yankees, uh, like I, it won't be the Orioles. I the Orioles. I don't. I don't really trust them because we don't know what they're gonna look like. Orioles in seven. Orioles in seven against who? The Yankees. What? So you you think so? You're predicting a Yankees and Orioles ALCS? No, I'm just. I was just speaking out of my Goody's Maximus. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, like always. I'm, um, I'm a serious. Shut up. I have a serious <laughs> thing to say. Um, okay. it, it, it's coming up. The Mets. I don't know why I call it that. The Subway Series. <laughs> Subway Series. I almost called it the Mets, Yankees, whatever. Uh, the Subway Series is coming up, I think, what is it, next month? Is it? Well, yeah, oh, it's so, going to be in June. It's going to be very soon, actually. Oh, well, yeah. So we'll get the date for it. Let's see. I think we've talked about it before. But I just want to you know, put it at the end of the video here. June 13th and June 14th. Yeah, we will be doing live streams. I mean, that's, what, a couple weeks away? We'll be live streaming one of the games. I think maybe we'll both. Game on, maybe both. Uh, but we're going to do it definitely at least one. Uh, we're going to get the full game. It's going to be me, Russell, maybe Alex. Maybe some more somebody Yankees. Else. And another Mets fan. We'll see. we'll see. Maybe I'll find a Mets fan. Maybe. The, the, you, uh, have, you know a bunch of Mets fans, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll find somebody. And we will be doing a pregame too. We're just like the pre-game, Giant Vikings, pre-game. you know. We'll have multiple people on from both fan bases talking. They, they, they won't be from different countries this time, though. <laughs> yeah, probably not. They'll, they'll, they'll be from here. Be Unless from here. I find the Yankee fan from London, which I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't. But, you know, yeah. I think. Stay tuned for that. Stay yeah, tuned for that. Stay tuned because we'll, we may live stream both games depending on, you know, our schedule because Roderick is free now. I should be free at least one of the days. I'll definitely be free on the 14th. So I I think we'll have one on the 14th, definitely. And then the 13th, potentially. So be on the lookout for those. And then we're going to do it again when we meet again. And let's see. In the World Series. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's, let's go. No, that, we'll there, do it again when we meet later. There it is, folks. Roderick's World Series prediction for the Yankees and Mets. All right, yeah, Roger. Mets in three. I, wouldn't it be Mets in four? Mets in three. Oh. We're going to beat them so bad they don't even play a fourth game. All right. I'm the first time in history. I'm clipping that. I really hope we do get a Yankee Met World Series. So just yeah, for the channel. We nice. said that. We said that for the Giants, Vikings, and we got it. I'm kind of, I'm kind of hoping that happens. Do I think it'll happen? Unlikely, it's very unlikely, but hey, you never know. You never know. Maybe the Yankees, you know, turn it around in the postseason and finally beat the Astros for runs. Maybe the Mets will get it together, get past the Braves, Dodgers, whoever it will be. So we'll see you all in the next video. We may do an NBA Finals preview. I'm glad Boston's out of it. I'm glad LA's out of it. Bye bye, Buckets. Jimmy, Jimmy Butler. Um, so. Peace out, everyone. Please like and subscribe.